Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf. What? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Are you kidding me? Please don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm trying to start an episode here. Can't be hitting the wrong button. Alright, um... Okay, let's get back into normal play. I accidentally hit the autoplay button. Oops. Uh, that's what I use for time skipping. I'll put it on autoplay and then I will uh, just record as I... Or I'll just run it in the background. Um, and... Uh, I will uh, go ahead and let the game do what the game's gonna do, but so far everybody seems to be doing pretty well. How are you doing, Akila? She's doing pretty well, and I think I don't see anything dangerous around, so we should be pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and get some food, though, although there is... Actually, I'm gonna head this way and investigate a, um, that whatever the... Oh! That is dangerous. Okay. Um, I'm gonna investigate this way because there is a wolf down here and this could be a stranger in our territory and if so, we need to go ahead and chase that off. That'll also get us away from that human over there, which is not something I want to be messing around with. Uh, but yes, so we are here with Ares and Aquila and Wolf and uh, they are now, their puppies are, I believe, I want to say three months old. Um, I didn't actually see. Yes, three months old. So we're getting there. We're, we're not quite they're not quite grown up but they will be pretty soon and uh just a few more episodes away actually but uh they're, they're doing pretty well so far um it's surprisingly hard to keep them alive while they're on autoplay uh i keep having to go back because uh as i've said several times okay i think actually then the stranger is not going to be within our territory all right we'll leave them alone then We'll go for maybe this elk instead. Um, but yeah, as I said many times, the AI in this game was good for its time, but it is quite old, and so it's not the greatest sometimes. <laughs> and uh, sometimes the AIs uh, do, do get themselves into a bit of trouble. Now, if something ever happens during gameplay, then we will keep that. But as for stuff happening off screen, then I don't actually... Um, I don't let anybody die off uh, off screen during the time skips because that just doesn't seem quite fair to you guys watching. Oh, uh, maybe we'll try and get Akila to help us here because I think we might need. Yeah, we may need some help. Let's howl. And it sounds like that wolf over there actually howled back. I think sometimes ah uh, we got to go further this way. We got to cut off this elk. I think if we head up this way, we're going to run straight towards that wolf. That does not seem like a smart idea, but we should turn off before, yeah, before anything bad happens. Oop, not quite. I've got to keep avoiding. Okay, there he is. I want him to run the other way. Go the other way. Yes. Good. Okay, is he, he's still pretty healthy, so we want to, we want to be careful about this and kind of just track him for a long period of time. I'm going to keep howling. And wait a second. Nope, that's just the stream. I thought I saw, um, like a helicopter or something for a moment and I kind of panicked a little. Um, but let's see if we can get Akila to come help us. I think that's probably Akila down, down there. Or maybe that is the pups. We'll see. But we're gonna try and get some help taking this elk down because we definitely need, uh, need some help because he is quite strong. Is he... Yeah, he probably is stronger than us. We might have to go get some food. I don't think there's many carcasses around is the problem. Um, Ares does not seem to be quite as good a hunter as our dear crow is with Star. Uh, if we look at his stats here, he's killed a lot of rabbits, but not a huge number of elk or moose or deer. So he's not as good. He seems to survive more off of small prey and not quite so much off of large prey now. The one thing that's concerning to me a little bit is that I did smell a human over here recently. That's just a tree, okay. Uh, every time I see any sort of shadow, it worries me because... Wait a sec. Um... Is that... No, okay, it wasn't a human. If you bark when a human is near, then it, it will uh, give you warning music. <laughs> um, but I did... Wait a second, it's just nighttime, right? I did see a human over here, so I want to be cautious as we're kind of exploring around. We don't want to just go lunging in without, um, without looking around first. Okay, I think the human must then be, uh, out of the way. Okay, there goes the elk. We're gonna chase it again. 
he's gonna keep going. Yeah, we're still uncomfortably low with that. We might just have to go get some other food. Maybe we'll pursue this rabbit here and see if we can find any, um, see if we can get any prey there. Hopefully that human has moved on and is not gonna be lingering around behind the rabbit, but we should get a human sense because uh, we have a little warning indicator that'll pop up when a human is near and that should trigger but uh, hopefully it will actually trigger. I think it, it almost always does. All right, there's a rabbit right here. Okay, we're gonna chase it. He's gonna run. So basically then what we'll do... Did he go all the way off screen? Yes, he did. Okay, what we'll do is we'll keep chasing him, but we'll uh, just follow at a distance more slowly until we catch up to him again, and that's the best way to catch rabbits from what I've seen is to just track them and then when they start to get tired you can run in for the kill okay so he's doing he's still going pretty fast we'll just keep following him you have to have a lot of patience and i am keeping my eye out because i want to see if there's going to be any other wolves that are going to show up because if there are then we do need to be kind of careful because we're not on our territory and uh, unfortunately we don't get to rest for the night because we do need food okay he's still running we'll just keep after him keep trotting the idea is to have him run while we take some time and go a little more slowly because then he'll wear out his stamina and we won't and when the time comes we'll just be able to rush in and take him down. Uh, rabbits are basically sprinters. They're not meant for that much endurance, at least in this game. And I think in real life too, a wolf would probably be able to outendure a rabbit unless the rabbit got to its burrow or something. So where are we relative to the- ooh, we are quite far away, okay. I don't like being this far from the den. Is he gonna stop anytime soon? Not just- oh, there we go. See, he is now out of stamina, and we can take him down and get some food. Alright, rabbits are easy enough. And then, let's see if we can maybe get a beaver. Uh, rabbit gave us a little food. We'll go for this rabbit up here. Um, I guess he's more on top of us now than- uh, but we'll go we'll go towards the rabbit that's up top because uh, we'll be able to then hopefully chase him back towards the den and uh, kind of counterbalance. We just spent all this time running and hopefully we can kind of just chase him straight back the way we came. And there's two rabbits actually. Possibly we could get around. There's like th two or three rabbits actually. Okay, possibly we could get both of them if we're a little careful. All right, there's a rabbit off to this side. I'm waiting until I see him right to the side. There we go. And then I'm gonna try and, oh, there he is, okay. So he's gonna run this way. I'm gonna try and, and we'll possibly try and chase multiple rabbits. It's probably a really bad idea, but if we can get more than one, that'd be good. All right, there's one right here. I see him. We'll chase him up if we can. Yep, there we go. He's gonna run up towards the other, and we can kind of circle around. And my idea is that if we get two of them kind of lined up with each other, we should be able to just uh, kind of keep going. And I'm not sure if that's how it'll actually work. No, I think the one ran straight up, so it will just pursue this guy here, I think. And uh, try and keep from using all of our stamina. Hopefully the pups aren't getting too low on food. Their food bar does seem to go down pretty slowly, so I'm not overly concerned, but we mostly need to get our own food up so that we can start uh, hunting for them as well, because that does seem to be the problem, is that it, there's not a huge amount of large game around, and so it's harder to actually find food. <laughs> um, that does seem to be one of the issues we're having even uh, in the time skipping, is that there's just not a huge amount of food to begin with. Maybe as we go by here, there's a human three up, but I'm gonna just detour up here real quickly and snag this beaver if we can. Can we get him? Or we're probably too far away. Nope, we got him, okay. And then that'll give us a little extra food as well. We're virtually full now, but I am gonna try and get the rabbit as well because if we can take down that rabbit while he's still weak, then we should have more than enough to be able to go finish off that elk hunt that we started, <laughs> if we can find the elk. Uh, there is a cow. 
but I don't particularly want to mess with a cow, especially not during the daytime. Uh, hunting cows during the day is actually really dangerous. Um, a lot of the time you'll immediately die due to hunters that will spawn in all around you, but if you kill a cow at night, you can get away from the immediate effects. The trouble is killing cattle will up the bounty on wolves in the game, and you will end up long-term affecting the gameplay in that there will be more hunters overall, and things are just going to get a little bit scarier. <laughs> um, there is a human that way, so we want to be kind of cautious. I'm going to see... We're going to catch this rabbit. Don't chase him straight towards the hunter. Um... But we're going to chase this rabbit, we'll catch this rabbit, we'll fill our own food up, and then if... Okay, here he is. Oh, he's right here. Can we get him? There we go. We should be able to get him. Um, but then if the pups need food, we'll feed them just from here and go fill our own food with small animals. So let's see. The... Wait a minute. Is there a hunter right at our den? Um... I see wolves before hunter. All right, we're going back into the territory. This is concerning. I'm gonna just come very carefully. Okay, I see. Wait a sec. Are you kidding me? Okay, he's between us and the den, so we're gonna have to circle the den. All right, we're gonna run this way. And I'm gonna cross over top of it. And hopefully then, yeah, there's a human right down there. Okay, so he's just a little ways from the den. So what I need to do is we'll try and get past the human and then run to the den. All right, I'm going to get some water while I'm here. We're pretty much above the, uh, the den now. Okay, so if we come straight down here, we should be able to get around. The I don't want to go that close. Okay, I'm gonna stop running because we are low on stamina, and if we need to run for it, I don't want to have no stamina left to run. Okay, so there's a human really close. Okay, there goes the elk. We're not gonna chase him yet, but we're gonna try and get in here quickly because are these guys hungry? Uh, they're not all that hungry, actually. We won't then, um, we won't then feed them just yet. I'm, what I'm gonna do- oh, that elk ran straight for the human. I'm going to try and carefully, very, very carefully, well, maybe maybe we'll just go for one of these other elk because I don't want to get tangled up with a hunter. And that was a pretty uh, strong elk anyway, so let's just see if we can find one that's going to be a little bit weaker, possibly, along here. We'll kind of circle down, and there's one that's just one below us. And if we can circle these guys, we might be okay. Um, okay, I want to, yeah, I want to get down below them if I can. And then come up from above. Okay, there's a moose down here somewhere too. But moose, I imagine, would be stronger. What I want to see is, okay, the elk are actually moving this way. So I'm going to run to the side and try and get around them. We'll try and, actually, I think we did. There's just a lot of them, okay. So what we'll do is we'll come from the side and we should be able to see if there's, okay, there's an elk right up here that's pretty close. Was that one too? That's just a stump, all right. Oh, there's an elk, oh, he's running already. Okay, we're gonna chase. Okay, let's see, is he strong? He's pretty strong actually, so maybe we'll chase another one instead. So, supposedly, there is another one straight up here. Is it nighttime? It is nighttime, I believe. Alright. And there should be another one right up here. He seems to have run further, I think. We'll see. Oh, there he is. I see one. Alright, how strong is this guy? He is pretty strong, too. There's a lot of pretty strong ones. There is another one right up here, though. And another one off to the side. Okay, oh, we missed him. Okay, here's one. Let's see. This guy's weak. Okay, we're taking this one down because this guy is weaker. Okay, he's running. He's actually limping. We're going to circle him then. We'll come down here. Hopefully that human's left. And there's also a moose. Moose is going to be really strong. We're not messing with that guy. Moose are, moose are dangerous unless you can catch him injured. So what we'll do is we'll run this way. And we'll circle around and see when the 
when the deer symbol, okay, there we go, or the elk symbol, excuse me. Okay, there he is. No, okay, go straight up, please. There we go. He'll run back the other way. And we should be able to actually maybe chase him down right here. He's getting, he's getting slower, all right. There we go. Okay, can we get him? Can we actually get him? We might be able to. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I don't think we've got him. Yeah, we got thrown off. Okay. As long as- okay, we didn't take a lot of damage from that. Did he take a lot of damage from that, though? Because if we can get in... We might have him, but I don't think we have him. Nope, we're going down first again. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can injure him, but I'm- Oh, I just injured myself. Darn it! Okay. We'll leave him be. We need to be very cautious now. So we'll remember there's one just a little ways down from the den. But we need to rest ourselves up here, so let's go ahead and get a drink. And then we will uh, lay down through the night here. And try and... Uh, that human's pretty far away, okay. We'll try and uh, get some sleep here. Alright, is it actually letting me sleep? Is it gonna let me sleep the night through? It usually takes about half a day for wounds to heal, so we may not actually see it heal during this episode unless we can just rest straight through uh, the morning here. Let's keep an eye on everything. Okay. And how we doing? We're still injured. I'm gonna sleep for a while longer, and then we'll see if we can go get that elf before the, um, how are we doing? We're still hurt. We'll see if we can get that elk before the end of this episode, because we do need to feed the pups. Um, oh, our, our health is back. Okay, so we're gonna go see if we can get that elk. We'll try it one or two more times, and hopefully... Okay, he should be right down here, I think. It's probably the two, right? I think it's the two. Um, he's pretty close, so if we have... Uh, hopefully we've done a little bit of damage. Is it this guy? Is it you? It is not you. Or is it you? It might be you. Okay. No, it's not him. It's probably the three then. Alright, or this- now he's a two. It's probably him. Um, yeah, because we've got another one right here. Okay. Yeah, probably him. We'll see. We may have already lost him, un unfortunately. Uh, hopefully not. But uh, hopefully everybody, else, hopefully we'll be okay with the the pups as well, and not uh, not having to worry about them. All right, how's this guy? Are you the one who's hurt? No, you're not. You're the strong one. Okay, we might just have to go snag this beaver. <laughs> I think we're gonna go snag the beaver, get our own health up, and then go feed the pups because they are probably starting to get hungry. And uh, so we'll just be really kind of careful and run down here. Beavers are an excellent source of food because they're really slow and they can't get away. <laughs> so in this game, if you're starving, if you are in desperate need of food, beaver's gonna be your best bet because you won't have to chase them for a long period of time. You can kind of just run at them and take them down. And I think right down here, we should have one pretty soon. Okay, I'm gonna slow up a little bit because I don't want to use all of my stamina. We're gonna need some of it to get back as well. But I also don't want to ever really completely run out of stamina, if possible. We need to be kind of careful because there is a wolf pack here. Or I think that might be a wolf pack. It's either a loner or a pack. And I don't want them attacking me. So we're probably just going to dart in, grab the beaver, and dart back out. So there should be a beaver right over here. It's nighttime again. And we'll just scoot our way back to the den after this before those wolves have a chance to come after us. There we go. And we can get them probably. Yep. And we should be able to just run straight back. Hopefully they will take down that injured elk over the next few days and we'll have some food for the time skip. But I'm just going to scoot my way right past these guys up here because I don't want to deal with them. So hopefully they will not catch up to us. We need to be kind of careful, and um, we need to just make it back quite a ways here. We're actually seven away from the den, so that's not awful, but uh, it's um, 
still quite a distance. I think that there's not any- I've never seen a plane or a helicopter at night, so I think we need- we can afford to be a little bit less careful, but we do need to get back and feed the pups. Okay, we're in our own territory now. I'm gonna run a part of the ways again, uh, although I do want to reserve some stamina just in case. Uh, we're getting pretty close though, so hopefully we can just make it up there pretty soon. And it won't be too bad. Okay. There we go. Some of you guys are asking, have asked about the numbers by the animals, too. Uh, the numbers just show you how far away it is. So I think it's how many screens. So, okay, our den is right up here. Let's see, how is everybody doing? Den's right here. How are you doing? You're actually full on food. Okay. So we don't even need to feed them. All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today then. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.